Welcome to Live in an Ang on an Ang TV. You're with me, Dui. This is our first episode ever of Live in an Ang, and also the first one of New Year 2021. First of all, may we wish you a happy New Year with full of health and success. This program hopes to show you all, especially the aspects in the Nang and Central Vietnam, the aspects life in the coastal city of the Nang, by meeting different and special guests every month. Now let's begin with some notable news. In 2021, Danang's tourism sector will continue to attract domestic tourists with new products and services, such as Danang by Night, Miang Beach Night Street, and host a series of exciting events, such as the fantastic Danang Festival, the International Marathon, tourism stimulus programs, and golf tournaments. Besides, the local tourism business community has continued to launch promotional packages to stimulate local market demand seek new markets, and at the same time strengthening anti-epidemic measures. Tourists who want to explore the next city will have the opportunity to enjoy free city tours from now until April 28, 2021. The city tours will take tourists to the popular destinations like Linh Ung Pagoda, Sheng Cha Peninsula, the Bridge of Love, Dragon Bridge, Marble Mountains, and souvenir shops. Visitors who wish to experience these destinations could book tours before 5 p.m. daily via phone number 0899-206-999. According to the Director of the Civil Aviation Authority of Vietnam, due to the impact of the COVID-19 epidemic, domestic allies will focus on exploiting flight rules around the country instead of international rules on the occasion of the Lunar New Year holiday 2021. Specifically, Vietnam Airlines and Vesco will operate 379 flights per day and even 504 flights in peak days. Meanwhile, Bamboo Airways will operate 180 flights per day and 190 flights in peak days, and Vietjet will have 371 flights per day averagely and 375 flights in rush days. It's just two weeks away from the traditional Lunar New Year, the Year of the Ox, and we are excited for the new and hoping for the brighter future this new year. The main topic of the next story today will be the field or Lunar New Year celebration in Vietnam. Now let's meet Steve and the exciting guests of the show today. Hi everyone, this is Steve from Danai TV and now it's time for the next story. As the Lunar New Year just around the corner, our very first topic today is Tết Việt or Lunar New Year in Vietnam. And my co-host today is a ready girl from the Nang Center for Tourism Promotion, V. Thank you, Steve. It's really great. My pleasure to be on this show, living Da Nang as a co-host. And I find it wonderful to meet and discover great stories of Espas life in this fantastic city. And we will not let you wait any longer. We will greet our first two guests of living Da Nang. Mm -hmm. Let's welcome Kira and Mark. They both are the experts have chosen Da Nang as their second homeland. Okay, take a look. Hi everyone, my name is Hera Balbera Compania. I'm from the Philippines and I'm a lecturer here in Danang. I'd like to say thank you so much for Danang TV for inviting me to be one of your guests. I really had a good time. Thank you so much. Hi, this is Mark. I'm from Barcelona. I've got a tour company here in Vietnam and it's been great today being with B and Steve at Danang TV. Okay, welcome Hera and Mars for joining us in the very first episode of Live in Da Nang. And today we will talk about Tết or Vietnamese Lunar New Year. Today is also my first episode as well. So, you know what, like, it's, long, it's really well known that Vietnam is such um, a few countries among the world still celebrating uh, Lunar New Year. So, as you have been here for a while, so what is your impression of Vietnamese Lunar New Year? Um, I like it. I mean, it is one of the uh, times of the year when everyone um, get together. So, uh, yeah, I, you know, it just uh, it took a little while for me to get used to all the traditions and everything. But once I got it, it's just something I am I'm, I'm really uh, happy about every year. All right, right. right. How about you, Hera? I love Tet Holiday. Um, I like how Vietnamese people put effort for, for the event, for that occasion. And I love everything in Vietnam when it's Tet Holiday. The, the yellow, the red color, everywhere you go it's very colorful and I love it. 
I also love your dress today. Thank you very you much. You look good. <laughs> How about me? Awesome. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> look great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, each country will have its own tradition, celebration, and custom. Mm -hmm. So, for your perspective, what is, what are the differences and similarities between the Vietnamese celebration Lunar Year and your own countries? Okay, so in my country, Philippines, uh, we celebrate uh, New Year on January 1. So we have some similarities actually here in Vietnam. In the Philippines, before the New Year, we clean everything. Oh. Oh, we right. throw old things and we have to make sure that the house is absolutely clean. For me, it's, how can I say, it's different, mm -hmm. you know? Um, as I've said earlier, Vietnamese prepare for a month before Tet holiday, yeah. right? You prepare decorations, you design the house, you plan going back home. Everything is totally different. Say that is a bit different for you, right? When you celebrate New Year here. Yeah. So have you found any challenges so far? The challenges that uh, I may have is just the heavy drinking, which I'm not very used to oh, uh, yeah. during Tet holidays. Everything else, I think, you know, um, Spanish and Vietnamese, um, we share this like family uh, yeah. culture yes. that um, you know everything during Tet and during New Year in Spain it's around family. So have you got any plan for this New Year? What would you do this Lunar New Year? Traveling is not an option for me right now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I would uh, stay in Da Nang, and uh, so my plan would be going around Da Nang. Yeah, I just stay in Da Nang. There are many things that I really want to do. I really want to do here in Da Nang. I'd like to try trekking Ooh. in Son Trai. So yeah. yeah, I think I will be doing uh, trekking this time. Uh, so uh, in my case, I have to travel back to Hanoi because my wife's family uh, okay. from there. So we will travel there. And the first day we will spend it uh, all together with uh, family, I guess, like uh, every year. Mm -hmm. For us, it's just going there, enjoy food, enjoy family and uh, welcome the new year all together. The two guests today, I think that they have integrated in yes. Vietnamese tradition oh. Yeah. So to check if you fully understand the oh meaning of Lunar New Year in Vietnam, I think we will bring us a small game. All right. Okay. Are you ready? If possible to me. <laughs> Are you it's ready? a challenge if possible to me, right. Okay. Okay. Trust me, it's very simple because I just have a talk. I do believe that you know this country because you've been here, you live here. So what will we have? I will show you some pictures okay. and you will have a look at the pictures. Then you show me what did you see on it. Okay. okay. All right. And okay. if possible, tell me the meaning of the picture. All right. Okay. okay. From your perspective, from your opinion. Yes. Okay. Let's right. try. So okay. you ready for that? Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's very ready. simple. Ready. Yeah. I think it's going to go fast. It's kind of easy. Clean the house. Clean yeah. the house, yeah, yeah. right. House. Okay, yes. one point for Mark. Yes, um, so what's the meaning? Um, you clean the house to remove... <laughs> remove what? <laughs> remove the bad things uh, from the previous year. All right. yeah. yeah. So it's like something is clean, so something new. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it gives uh, the good feeling. Yeah. yeah, when, when start you clean. Are, yeah. start yeah. clean, yeah, so start the year cleaning. Mm. Yeah. yeah, 10 <laughs> points for you. Yeah, actually, if you can Why not for you? <laughs> for you, 10 points for me, okay. Yeah. So this is your, my turn, it's okay. very simple. No, the meaning of it. Okay, Banchung, Banchung. Here you go to I, I read it. Tell me the meaning, tell me the meaning. Yeah. Banchung. Yeah. Mm. Really the meaning of Banchung. It stands for? Uh, money? No. But you okay. is square. Square. Yes. yes. Yeah. What do you so, think about? Yes. I think it has to do with luck, uh, but I'm not very sure about the meaning of it. Uh, what I do know is that there is uh, this secret competition where everyone tries to give away this <laughs> Bajung, <yeah>. everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Eat as many banchong as you can. Yeah. How does it taste? It's good. Yes. Yeah, but I can eat only one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We do you know the meaning of, of, of the shape of Banchung? Yeah. So Banchung is square, it just represents the land. Oh, okay. The water. Yeah. Oh, okay. Water. Yeah. This yeah. Um, offering? Offerings, yeah. yeah. Offering what? Um, uh, food? <laughs> for the ancestors? Uh, yes. Okay. Food for the ancestors. Yeah, yeah. I think you have to offer some food and pray mm -hmm. for your ancestors. 
and what's the meaning of this oh, radiation? So I guess it's just to send back uh, your your ancestors whatever they may miss in there. So that's why you burn uh, money or you burn even outside. Or even, <laughs> so I, I yeah, always yeah. make even a paper. Wow. Yeah. No, 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 no. This one. This one. The fish! Ah, that's the, the fish, yeah. The fish? Is that the uh, kitchen's. Uh, kitchen what? Kitchen's goat. Yeah! Right, yeah. yeah. bravo, bravo, okay. bravo. Tell me the meaning. Um, I don't really know the meaning of it. I just know uh, the story yes. that uh, you are meant to just a few days uh, before Ted, you are meant to just cook and pray. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, my mother in law told me, and now I see it, but told me something about <laughs> coming on top of a, a car. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. The last picture. Okay, the last picture. Okay. Mm. Just make sure. Oh, no, no, sure. No. <laughs> yeah, that's my Seven. son's favorite. Yeah. The lucky money. Yeah. The Lissy. Lissy, yeah. Lissy. Okay, so what's the point of this? You give old people give Lissy, and then the, the young people will somehow wish for good health to the people who gave them the Lissy. Oh. Yeah. So that's what I know. What color is the analog? Red. 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 And what does the color stand for? The the red. Red. Stand for? Red color. Red. Hello there. Luck. Yes. Luck. luck. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, thank you for joining thank the game. Thank you very much for inviting us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You've good. been great on the games. And as we mentioned earlier, we got the lucky money. It's just yes. like you show the love and the luck to the people. So, yay. 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 Okay. I okay, really hope you would like it. So, yes, you can choose. Can pick I one. pick one? <laughs> I think this one. <laughs> okay, yeah, this so one this one's okay. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Thank you so much. Mm. Yes, um, as we know that the um, Lunar New Year meals play a very vital role in Vietnamese mm. culture. Yes. And it, there was not only a chance for its family mm. to repair and taste traditional food, right. but also a time for us to reunite and look back the last year. So that's why to the next part of Living Danang, we will take you guys to a lovely kitchen oh. and we will enjoy a cooking experience. Wow. Okay. Yes. 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 Cool. Okay. Right, so let's do it. Let's, do it. let's, let's go. go. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. In such a cozy kitchen like this, Miss Vung, a local chef, will show our two guests how to cook two simple Vietnamese dishes. The first one is the side dish you will see in any meals on that holiday, spring rolls. And the second is a signature dish of central Vietnam, Vietnamese pancake. Yeah. Our guests will experience how to make those dishes. Yeah, I love uh, Vietnamese food, but I have to uh, admit it's challenging uh, to cook it. But uh, I really recommend everyone to uh, try it. I like the uh, the way all the spices are, are mixed, so um, uh, I like it that because it's like really well balanced. So uh, yeah, really good and crunchy by itself. I think it's uh, Vietnamese cuisine is something that you guys should uh, export much more than than you do. It's one of the reasons why I, recom I would recommend everyone to visit this country just to eat. This experience uh, right now is an eye opener for me. Before I thought it's really difficult to cook Vietnamese cuisine, Vietnamese food. But after I tried cooking the ban seo and the ram. I realized that it's simple, yeah, it's not that difficult and if you love Vietnam and if you plan to stay longer here in Da Nang, you should know how to cook Vietnamese food and you should start learning. So I think this step holiday, I will start learning how to cook Vietnamese food.
We really hope that the cooking experiences today have widened your knowledge of Vietnamese traditional cuisine and hopefully you can make yourself the Vietnamese pancake and the spring rolls this Lunar New Year. And thank you very much Chef Phuong for having us today in such a cozy kitchen. Mm -hmm. And thank you Mars and Hira for joining thank the very you. first episode of Live in Da Nang. And we wish you all a happy Lunar New Year with thank our you loved much. ones. Thank you. And thank just you. the last word before we finish, would you have a few words to our Da Nang viewers, please? Chúc mừng năm mới everyone and I hope that this year is going to be awesome for everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.